X-Men verse. Okay. Yeah, this one's going to be a, a doozy. First X-Men movie. This is going to be true proof of the, the boomers, I think. Or the zoomers. I absolutely loved the first X-Men movie. When it released, or not, I guess not when it released, because I didn't watch it on release, but just... So 2000, I, it's, it's not bad. pretty good reviews. Yeah, you know what? You Zoomers might know what you're talking well, about. Well, I would truthfully put this one up in the A or B tier. Yeah, maybe the bottom of A. Uh, yeah. But here's the it, thing, I mean, is, is I think 2 is better than... Now I'm gonna be biased here because I one of my favorite X-Men is Nightcrawler. X3. Oof, this is an oof movie. I I was not as impressed. Like this this kinda had the same kind of feel as Spider-Man 3, you know? The, it it kind of felt like they had jumped the shark in the previous movie. I I would definitely put this one on probably a C tier. Okay, so this is the one where he's a lumberjack, right? Is this the uh, one with the Deadpool? With the Ryan, the first Ryan Reynolds Deadpool? With, so this is... With those yeah, this is uh, Origins. Where it goes through his, like history of like growing up and and fighting in all the wars with like Sabretooth and stuff and, and I the actually whole thought that there are some and cool elements to this right the Ryan Reynolds character just fucking <laughs> again Ryan Reynolds well, quit fucking and... up our universes <laughs> no, 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 no. Because he will argue this one, and I will argue it in his place, Ryan Reynolds, if you're watching, I love you. He was completely opposed to the character design for that movie. That's why he yeah, they, pushed uh, no, so he, hard He for actually, Deadpool. that's the thing, right? Is up until that point, that's a pretty good movie. Anyways, where are we putting the Origins? We agreed uh, it's, a, it's a mostly good movie, but they fucked up with the... Deadpool character. I think I could put it higher than three. There's a lot. There's a lot of bad choices in both of these movies, right? First class, then. I thought this uh, was a very good X Men movie. I I love the attempt at the reboot with this. I would go so far as to put this, maybe even A tier, like up here. I'm I'm willing to agree with that. 86 and 87. I, uh, all right. So it seems like people kind of agree with us on that one. Okay, that one was a stinker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're giving hey, so... it the benefit of the doubt that the reason it's bad is for the ending of the movie, not the entire movie. Wolverine. It's actually a really compelling movie. Like, definitely you should see it, and I would put it up in the A tier. Like above Thor Ragnarok. Ooh. Like since I can't, I haven't seen it. I can't put it higher than first class. All right. But I'll put That's it, fair. On your word, I'll put it in the A tier. What's this? One? Days of Future Past. I, I don't know if Apocalypse is. It might be here, and I'm just blind. Now I'm inclined to believe I'm just blind. I don't think it's there. What a fucking idiot this guy. <laughs> immediately pissed again this God, movie I... was fucking i hate it <laughs> right because even I... as a as a fucking superhero connoisseur and somebody who like is it like ah, damn it was well received but i just dude i just don't not a fan of the time travel trope are you I, dude, I hate it. I guess that's what it is. Is that my is that my issue? Is I just fucking I can't. As soon as you start doing time travel, I fucking hate your movie. Stop doing that shit. This definitely may be better than First Class and The Wolverine, but I wouldn't like. So it we'll wasn't like. I, I, it, yeah, we'll leave it there. I think that's a better yeah, spot for it. It is like the best of the X Men so far. Logan, on the other hand. I would be inclined to put this up in this too. I would also be inclined to put it there. Let's see I... what the people say! 
mean, you know, oh, it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's the death of an icon, you know, like. Yeah, it was very, this is almost like Avengers in the sense that all these movies had to happen for this movie to happen. You're so drawn in and you care about his character so much purely because all of these other movies. Uh, I don't think either of us have seen Dark Phoenix, so. Yeah, this is actually where it needs to be. So Captain America first one, I almost want to, I would say like, almost like here. Better than the first Thor, but not as good as the second Thor. Yeah, I, I can appreciate that. And then the second one was actually really good. Either top of B or bottom of A. I can give it top of B. Because like honestly I, I would I would even say that this is a better movie than first class. Oh, I would definitely say it's better than Future Past. Because I don't even like Captain America, and I like this movie. I'd give it higher than First Class, but I still honestly rank Future Past above that. Now, Civil War. I can see Top of A. It, it's, it definitely set a precedent in the MCU. 1989. Slightly worse than Cap 2. I would have thought Civil War would have rated higher than Winter Soldier. So Hancock, I'm not expecting <laughs> much from this song. He threw a fucking whale. Yeah, this I... one's a stinker. This was kind of like the first attempt at a superhero movie where it's not just a superhero, like a a superhero that we already know about and that's established like i'm almost because inclined to put it i could see it being bottom of c I, I or could put it top a, of d yeah i could put it above my will yeah. smith is the only part of that movie that makes it good <laughs> if it wasn't will smith that movie would be unbearable uh he said short boy and lava girl i mean uh do I need to explain myself? I thought Shark Boy and Lava Girl was an excellent movie. Yeah, you're right. And it belongs in the A tier. And the audience will agree with me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they fucking do. Oh, man. So what? He's you're going to fight me on this one? No, I'm not going to fight you on it. Okay. <laughs> Batman, the, oh, the man. old school. No, I'm gonna be honest, it, it, bro. It doesn't hold up for me. Me either. It's an F or a D. I'd put it in an F. I'd probably put it above Batman and Robin. Right? Yeah. Like the no, top of that. Def Mad Props. I'll respect to Adam my West, classics but... by putting him at the top of bullshit, but. It's bullshit. It doesn't. It doesn't hold up well. It's not really Batman. It's just like a goof on Batman. Oh, this is the 2003 one. This is the Eric Bana. Wow. Wow. What? What is this? 62 and 29. I think there's a lot. Of, there's there's got to be some zoomers on this one. I don't know. F tier. F tier? Nah, I can't allow that. This is better than... This is at least a C tier. I would put this top of C tier. This is not a fucking Batman and Robin movie. This is still a better representation of the Hulk in this movie than we have seen in any of the MCU. This is that savage fucking Hulk. In the highest I could see it would be D, truthfully. If it's... It, then it's top of D. I, I can give it top of D, but I think that's as far as I could go. All right. We'll settle there. <laughs> then Edward Norton Hulk. I would put this one in C. Yeah, it's definitely better than the other Hulk. Yeah, I would put this at top of C, to be honest with you. There was some cohesive uh, story within the Edward Norton Hulk with Abomination and the Super Serum and, and of course, Liv Taylor. Much love if you ever watch this. She's Steven Whatever. Tyler's daughter. Anyway. Not Steven Taylor's daughter. <laughs> You don't know that. Famous Aerosmith lead vocalist, Steven Taylor. All right, Daredevil. 
Hellboy era, right? Around there, yeah. I remember even then thinking that it wasn't that good of a movie. It was literally only acceptable because there wasn't a lot of other superhero movies, right? You know, during, you know, the Blade era and the Hellboy era and the Daredevil era, all of these movies were showing on TV all the time because there wasn't a lot of other stuff out. And that, and the way TV was back in the day, kids, is you didn't just watch whatever the fuck you wanted to watch whenever you wanted to watch it. You had to watch whatever was on TV and you would just pick from whatever the best thing was that was on. And a lot of times, the best thing that would be on would be Daredevil playing again for the fucking 30th time on FX or whatever the hell the channel was. It's different now where everything's on Netflix or YouTube or st some streaming service, like people watch the movie one time and then that's it, right? You don't fucking see it 47 times on TV. I think that's what kind of makes those movies so iconic. I, I could put it in D tier. Yeah, I feel like it's a D tier movie for sure. Um, Superman. I, you know, I haven't even really seen. I'm going to be honest as well. I've s seen them in passing, like on the TV over the years. But I, I never really paid attention too much, and I never really cared for them. For me personally, I, it's really hard for me to get into movies when they're real dated like this. I'm almost—I I would just leave them here in the haven't seen. Yeah. Because it, I just don't—I really don't remember enough about them or anything to really critique them. Name these. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. A masterpiece. It was actually a very good I Yeah, I definitely put it up in the A tier. I would say it's better than Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Um, I would actually put it personally higher than Hellboy. Okay, I think where it is now. It's about as high as I'm willing to put it. Where it's at is good. The Green Hornet. I mean, did you care for this movie? Uh, I never actually saw Green Hornet. Well, it's bad. Uh, Lego Batman. I haven't seen it. Really? Yeah. That surprises me. I was kind I of do, hoping I do enjoy Lego now, stuff, but... I have heard that this is like one of the best Lego things. Maybe you and me should it. react to it. I'd Watch be it together. Captain Marvel. No, I, I, I have rather... some strong feelings about this. I... <laughs> I, no, I know we've we've talked about it. I don't like I, Captain Marvel. I rather enjoyed Captain Marvel. Wouldn't say A tier, like it was good, but it it was at I'll that put point it here. where like that's where I would put it. I'd I'd put it there. If we put it on B. I'd put it at the end. I don't. I really don't like Captain Marvel. I can accept that. The Invincible, or The Incredible, sorry. A, a, a tier at the very least. I would put it at the bottom of S tier. Yeah, I could see it bottom of S tier. Because it's like its own style of superhero movie. Wow, that is shocking. I, I, it's know. shocking in both ways, Something right? Something amazing. It's shocking that the critics rated it so high and that the people rated it so low. I mean, to me, The Incredibles is, this is arguably one of the best Disney Pixar movies ever. And I would go so far as to say that the second one also should be on the S tier. Way, way higher. What the hell? Well, so... the critic didn't go as high, but the audience. It's like we said before, it has to be really high for both of us and well rated. And for me, Incredibles 2 just isn't S tier. I'll... Black Panther. I think this is a really overhyped movie. BGI completely destroys it for me in this movie. So I would put it C tier. Truthfully. Probably there. I don't think it's as good as that. No. That's what you get. You get shitty CGI. You get a C tier for shitty CGI. <laughs> this movie right here. Electra? I start with me. Let's see this shit. 
I enjoyed Electra more than I enjoyed Daredevil. Hell no. Look at this. I thought, no, Electra is definitely worse than Daredevil. I'll go as far as to put it in the D, but it has to go below Daredevil. Alright. Uh, that's fair, but I, I truly enjoyed it. And I wish they had done more with Electra. No comment. <laughs> I just can't. It's, oh god, it's, it's so bad. I wanted it to be good. It's one of those movies that I watch, when every time I would watch it, I want it to be good, but it's just... She's, she is actually a rather iconic character within the DC universe. Rather than explain it in my own words, let me explain it in a critic's consensus. Jennifer Garner inhabits her role with Ernest Gusto, but Electra's tone-deaf script is too self-serious and bereft of intelligent dialogue to provide engaging thrills. I don't think those critics know what they're talking about. <laughs> the original Fantastic Four. I think that's this one here. I honestly, I would put it at a solid B. I would a put it at maybe bottom of B because... I'm almost reluctant to take it out of C, even. Just just by looking at the other movies in B, I just don't think. Now, Silver Surfer. I actually like this one more than the first one. I, I will give it, I like it more than the first one. Uh, the action scenes in it were awesome. The Silver Surfer itself. Plus, I love I the Silver Surfer. Issues. The Silver Surfer is one of my favorite characters of all time, and it's the only time we've ever seen him in a cinematic setting so I, I have to like it to some extent right I haven't actually seen this new Fantastic Four uh, neither have I oh I haven't seen it. now we get into something interesting Batman Begins I think we have to put this movie into the A tier A tier at the very least it's better than it's Endgame. An, this, I'm gonna be honest, this Incredibles 2 being the top of A is fucking me up. Still definitely in the A tier for me. I would put it above Ragnarok at, at the very least. I'll put it there. I'll even put it above Blade for you. Uh, how do you feel about where it is right now? I would put it below Endgame. While it was yeah. good in a good origin telling it definitely I think the culmination of the MCU into Endgame this next one should anything really be even said it's 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 the Dark Knight it's 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 almost it's meme worthy how good this movie is yeah finally the critics and the audience agrees <laughs> now definitely S tier it's a definite S tier the the Real question is where in the S tier? I would go so far as to say top of the S tier. I would put it lower than Logan. Like just underneath Logan. Uh, lower than Logan? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. That I disagree with. I think it's above Spider-Man. I'm, I'm not arguing that it doesn't belong in the S tier. That's, I mean, it's definitely, I just, I feel like the culmination in the end of Logan's story still just outweighs. I mean, it's got know. a better build up and then it's sad, but I don't think that it holds a candle to the storytelling of The Dark Knight. I mean, there's like no dialogue in the entire movie of Logan. I think just like based on that alone, I just I can't put it higher than Dark Knight. I think your bias is coming into play here, but I'll I'll concede. Put it third place. All right, you can call it third. I'm calling it tied for second. Uh, and then rises. Yeah, like I said, didn't actually see that one. The problem with the movie is Tom Hardy, which is like he sort of had a Ryan Reynolds here, where. He fucked up the movie. <laughs> and it's not because Tom Hardy's bad or his performance is bad, but it's because the portrayal of Bane is horrible. It's like bottom of B for me, maybe. The Rotten Tomatoes is gonna rate it higher than what I think.
50, 87, and 90. They were fucking rating that shit high as hell. I don't think that shit's that good. So, instead of, we'll bump it up to a B. <laughs> I don't remember Superman Returns. Oh, yeah, oh that actually, I do remember this now. So, Superman Returns, I think that's a pretty D tier movie, honestly. Uh, I'm putting it below Electra because you liked Electra. And Man of Steel, even though I don't like Superman, is a legitimately good superhero and Superman movie. I would put this actually above Batman Begins. Spirit of Vengeance was not as good as the first one. If we're gonna do these, let's do the first one first. So, I would say. You know, another is another movie that Jesus Christ, that second one did bad. Let's look at the first one. <laughs> I would hope this one did a little bit better. Oof, only slightly. God damn it, Nicholas Cage is better. Stop doing that. I would say this is like a C tier movie. I actually enjoyed the Ghost Rider movies. Maybe top of D. Like it wasn't great by any any stretch, but it wasn't it wasn't horrible. I put it I put it above Black Panther. The second one I would say is probably top of D or maybe bottom of C. I didn't like the second one as much, but it wasn't terrible. It was just kind of like. The second one just felt like a, a director's cut of the first movie, right? It, like, it just felt like there was... it was just more of the same shit. It didn't feel... Alright. Yeah. It wasn't bad, it was just kind of more of the same, and because it wasn't new, it wasn't as good. Green Lantern. F. Alright. <laughs> Moving on! Come on, Ryan Reynolds. I know you're trying, but... Uh, Michael Keaton... I can't remember. Do people like him as Batman or no? Uh, I am not a fan of him as Batman. So, we're gonna put this one... I think a C. I would say it's probably better than Ghost Rider. So then there's Batman Returns, which comes out right after. That would have been the second one. With Michael Keaton. Which uh, is not as good. I don't know, almost the same deal, maybe. <laughs> like, as same as like Ghost Rider, you know what I'm saying? Like, Put it above the second Ghost Rider. Like, it was just. <laughs> and we got the Val Kilmer Batman. This is arguably. F tier. This is as bad as Batman and Robin. Alright, but you gotta put it above Batman and Robin, because it's still better than Batman and Robin. Alright. Why, why can't they get Batman right? What the fuck is wrong with these people? I mean, because look, here's another F tier. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Birds of Prey? I actually haven't seen it. I was not a fan. I heard it was good. 78. This is just a continuation of the bad of, from this. So, like, I feel like if you didn't like this movie, you wouldn't like this movie. <laughs> Wonder Woman. I liked Wonder Woman. I thought it was... I think Wonder Woman is the best female protagonist superhero movie we have seen so far. I would give it that. I think it's an A-tier movie. I actually, I think it's better than Superman. I don't think it's as good as Endgame. The Joker. I never saw it, actually. I would say this is an S tier in its own right. But... Yeah, readily available to go see. 
Wow. Really? 68.88. I would have thought this score would have been much higher. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hasty in my decision here. It is very unique, but, but was it good? Because it's a lot of very long, drawn-out tension throughout the entire movie. And while the parts that are good are good, it takes a while to fucking get there. I would still say it's a very good movie because it's it's unique and it's compelling in its own right. I would put it at top of B, honestly. The parts that are good in this movie are S tier good, but it doesn't keep that pace. Let's do a fun one. Sky high. S tier. Hands down. You're out of your mind. You can't put that S tier. I, I don't even Check think I don't even Check think Rotten, Rotten Tomato. Tomato will let us put critics were more on your side than the audience, but it... look, look, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm <laughs> saying it's not an S movie. Yeah, to some buggy website. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to me. That's us to me it's not an S. <laughs> well to them too, but I'd put it in an I'd put it up here in A, maybe. I am willing to put Sky High higher than Wonder Woman. I would also be willing to make that concession considering that the original Wonder Woman, or the original person who played Wonder Woman is actually in Sky High. <laughs> Doctor Strange. I, I thoroughly enjoyed Doctor Strange. I'd be tempted to say S tier, but it's probably A tier. For me, it's a B tier, so it'll settle in the A tier. I almost feel like where it is at the bottom of A is where I would put it. Uh, I'd throw it up above at least Incredibles. Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds, you got it right. You made yourself up at the top of the fucking charts. I'll put it S tier, but bottom of S tier. I can... Appreciate that. Let's see if Rotten Tomatoes feels the same. I don't think they're going to. Maybe they will. Oh, audience coming through for us. <laughs> this is not only a good origin story, but it's compelling, it's interesting, it's unique. It's a whole different take on superheroes. It stays true to its its own universe, right? Like the even like the the way it is in comics, like with him breaking the fourth wall all the time and things like that. It's it stays very true to the comics, but in a movie fashion and. So I, I, I can respect the level that this movie is. It's This is the type of movie you want about whatever superhero that you like. Deadpool 2, not as good. There's some moments, it has its moments, it's still a funny movie. But it's not as dramatic and compelling as the first one. I would put it in the A tier. Maybe even B tier. I can see it in the A tier, yeah. 84 and 85, you know? Not not bad. Not bad. Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It wasn't bad by any stretch. It just... It, it, it has the sequel's curse, you know? It just doesn't capture the thing that the first one did. Right. Honestly, for me, it's better than Ragnarok was. <laughs> Constantine. So I wasn't super into it. What I keep doing is I keep looking at these other movies that we've already rated and trying to figure out if I like those movies more or less than the movie we're looking at. It was a good movie. Cinematically, I, I believe it still actually does hold up. Aquaman. It's a B movie. I mean, so I'm part part of me is biased a little bit because I just. I will say Jason Momoa brings a level of like badassery to the character that he was that was much needed. Watchmen. So Watchmen was one of those that actually went through like great detail to try and match up with the 
source material. Watchmen didn't get super high rated, but I have actually read the graphic novel of Watchmen and watched the movie, and, and for me, especially when you, and especially when you watch the director's cut, which is like almost 45 minutes longer or something like that, the detail and the lengths that they went to portray the accuracy of a lot of the scenes that happen within the comic books make me want to put Watchmen at an S tier. I feel like this is the most underrated superhero movie of all time. I could consider top of A tier just because we, we have had a couple examples already where it, it, it clearly should have been S tier in both our opinions but because I, I truthfully believe it is quite a masterpiece as well subject matter of Watchmen is the the story of the Watchmen is the most important superhero story to ever be told because it's it's literally about the struggle of what it means to be a superhero and what good and evil truly means and the and how and the grayness of everything you know because you get to see these superheroes that are you know, Vietnam vets and stuff like that, where, you know, you see them doing horrible things, and then on the reverse side, you see them doing really good things and saving people's lives and stuff, and, and you see the dichotomy of how, you know, life isn't just... People aren't just black and white. People aren't just good or just bad or... Shazam! I absolutely it's... No? No? No. You could argue I wouldn't for an say S. it's... <laughs> I, well, and that's... I would I would never... It's not an S tier. Can't put, I can't I, put I, it I, too much. I, it's gotta be like... I would say it's better than Ragnarok. But that's about All right. it. Alright, I'll put it there. Batman vs. Superman. The people liked it a lot more than the critics. First watch through of this movie, I would have told you to put it right here. Second watch through of this movie, I would have said that it's like garish. After watching it a third time, I have come to the conclusion that it's it's probably about here. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like uh, it suffers from a lot of the things that all the movies in in the C category suffer from, right? Is that it's got there are things that are going for it that are good, but there are things about it that prevent it from being really good, right? And that's the it is the same thing that this falls into. Is that it's there are parts of it that are good, but there's just a lot about it that you can't overlook that makes it bad. And Justice League. Are we talking Zack Snyder's Justice League? Or are we talking the actual Justice League when it came out? Because it actually makes a difference. Uh, it was the one I 40 and 69. Saw... <laughs> See, look. Okay. So. 71 and 94 was the difference on so yeah. if we're rating this as just Justice League the when it first came out I would put it like here dude with the Zack Snyder cut and them explaining things a little bit better I think in my opinion I think it's like here it only took us about four and a half hours, but, uh... We did it. We did it. Yeah. Our top ten superhero movies of all time, in order from first to tenth. You got Avengers Infinity War taken top spot. And we got The Dark Knight. We've got Logan. We've got Spider-Man 2. 
uh, Iron Man, the first one. We got Spider Man, uh, the spider in this into the Spider Verse. Uh, the first Incredibles. We got Deadpool, the first one. Then we got Watchmen. And we got Captain America: Civil War. That's a pretty good top ten list. I feel like with that top ten list, we would get ripped apart. But also, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Addison. And we will see you guys next time. Oh yeah, peace.